This piece you saw some of the merch on campus right now. Check out the newest merch. This is the UConn bookstore in stores. Everyone's trying to get their hands on some type of championship gear. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts continues our team coverage now from outside UConn's bookstore. Amanda, apparently people are coming from all over, right? Yes, they are. And Kevin, I felt a little jealous. So I got myself a t-shirt, the back-to-back -back champion one. This was the hot commodity on campus today because look, the only size left for me was a 2XL. But yes, people from all across the state came here today for their championship gear, including people who bought some stuff for those diehard fans out of state. So of course the back-to-back -back hats. UConn fans, students, and alum. Hat for uncles. <laughs> um, the best Husky dog ever shirt. Started their days Tuesday with one thing on their minds. I came to get a shirt to welcome the teams back tonight. I got my alarm set. I'm going up there early in the morning. UConn Nation eager to get their hands on the brand new championship gear after the men secured another national championship Monday night. The energy here is just like right now insane. The campus bookstore was too. Some waited outside for them to open this morning and many sizes quickly sold out. Literally nothing left of this one. <laughs> I remember that last year. The bigger they get and more um, games they win and championships that you, if you don't grab it, it's gone. Maria Slavi was buying merch for her daughter and future son-in-law in Texas. She's about to get married and her fiance is huge. UConn fan. He's crazy about it. And he's um, only been once up here into Connecticut. And I didn't forget my husband. <laughs> Others brought their family with them. My husband and I both went to UConn. We met here in the UConn marching band. Elizabeth Diaria was a student when UConn first won in 1999 and now gets to enjoy her kids' experience win after win. We were up all night till like 11.30. I only made it half time. Now you saw how all the items are selling out today. How about how they're made? Coming up at 6, we'll take you inside a facility in Hartford that's doing just that. For now, live in stores, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin.